Hello, Charles from American Life Three Hundred Sixty Five. I would like to talk about watering in winter in this video. Let's take a look at this experiment first. I put a transparent bottle on the ground near a tree. I tested the temperature of the ground near the trunk. It is higher than other regions. It has two degrees of Fahrenheit difference. So the ground inside of the bottle is about thirty-four, thirty-five degrees Fahrenheit. It is thirty-two degree Fahrenheit outside. The closer you are to the tree, the warmer it will be. A days later, I found some water in the bottle. Very interesting. This experiment tells us, due to the higher temperature of the soil near the tree, the soil evaporates water from the ground, just like the water in the kettle. Will eventually disappear if it is heated continuously. Heat rises from deep soil to air with water. The soil near the tree loses moisture. In other words, the soil near the tree dries out faster than the soil in other regions. If it, there is a Wind. It is likely to be a stronger and drier wind, and the water on the tree will quickly dry out. Drying root soil is not helpful for trees to thrive, or threatening to the survival of the tree. Trees do not stop growing in winter. Not at all. Even some trees are dormant. Although trees have no new leaves or branches to sprout in winter, they have just entered a different growth period of growing roots, from growing leaves, branches, and fruits. Their growth still requires water and nutrients. Such as phosphorus and potassium, probably not too much nitrogen. You may have thirty percent or fifty percent less water schedule than complete schedule for your trees, not evergreen. You must maintain a complete schedule for your evergreen trees. You should skip rain or snow. Adjust your schedule or watering amount according to the weather. I have my smart irrigation system. It helps me water smartly. I have a series of videos on how to install a smart irrigation system. You can view them from the links I put in this video comments. Trees like watering to be slow and deep. People don't have enough patience to water with a hose. If the water flow is too large, it will only make the water flowing through the wider, but not deeper, where the roots are located. The dripping is good and very helpful. So what we should do is continue to water the trees in winter. It may not be watering like in summer. In winter, it may rain or snow. Rain or snow provides water. They save us from watering. 
But if there is not much rain or snow, you still need to water your tree in winter. Watering should be done at the hotter time of day to prevent freezing. If the water freezes, it will prevent the water from entering the deep soil. And reduce the effectiveness of watering. That is all for this video. Don't stop watering your tree in winter. Do it right to your trees. Thank you. We have hundreds of video in many aspects of American life. If you like our video, please click the logo to subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Your effort to help us encourage us to make more videos. Thank you.